Hey everybody, this is Gregory from DAP University. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use POA Network's bridge without using MetaMask. In the previous video, I showed you how to transfer native POA tokens from the POA network to POA20 tokens on the Ethereum network. And in this video, I'll show you how to transfer POA20 tokens on the Ethereum network to native POA tokens on the POA network without using MetaMask. In order to do this, you'll first need the POA20 token smart contract address. You can find this address by clicking show more under the Ethereum network heading on the bridge homepage and select the token address. I'll keep this page open so that I can revisit it momentarily. Instead of using MetaMask, you can use my crypto to transfer POA20 tokens to the POA network with the POA network bridge. In order to do this, you must first connect to the Ethereum network on my crypto like this. I'll select Infura. Now I'll click the contracts tab in order to interact with the smart contract that will transfer my tokens from the Ethereum network. Here I'll enter some information from the Etherscan contract page that I opened in the previous step. First, I'll enter the smart contract address. I can go back to the page that I opened in the previous step and copy this address, and I'll paste it into my crypto. Now I'll copy the contract ABI from Etherscan and paste it into my crypto as well. You can find the contract ABI by clicking the code tab and scrolling down to find the contract ABI. And I'll paste this into the ABI field on my crypto. Now I'll click Access and select the function that will transfer the tokens. I'll select the Transfer and Call function, like this. This function requires three parameters, two, value, and data. The two value will be the bridge smart contract address on the Ethereum network. You can copy this smart contract address by visiting the bridge homepage and clicking the bridge foreign address link. I'll copy this address and paste it into my crypto. Now I'll enter the value of tokens that I would like to transfer to the POA network. This value must be expressed in way, which is the minimum subdivision of Ether. I'd like to transfer 1000 POA20 tokens, but I must first convert this value into way. I can convert this amount to way with an online tool like Ether Converter. Here I'll enter the amount of tokens I'd like to transfer, in this case 1000, and copy the way value. Now I'll paste this value into my crypto like this. Also note that this value should meet the minimum transfer amount for the bridge, which you can see here. We are almost ready to call this function. For now I'll skip the data field. Now I must import my account to sign this transaction by selecting an import method here. I recommend using the JSON keystore method. This is the same method as if you were going to use Trezor or Ledger. You can also choose another method like importing your private key, but you should be very cautious when doing this. I'll import the JSON key store from my computer like this, and I'll enter my password to unlock the account. Now that I've unlocked my wallet with my crypto, I'll leave the gas price and gas limit suggested by my crypto in order to ensure a fast and successful transaction. Finally, I'll click write to call this function and sign this transaction. Now I can monitor this transaction on Etherscan by clicking the verify link below. Now I'll refresh this page and wait for the transaction to be mined on the Ethereum network. Now that this transaction has been mined successfully, I can check the status of the transaction on the bridge smart contract by clicking the bridge foreign address on the bridge homepage. I can refresh this page to see the status of this transaction. All right, now this transaction has been successfully mined. Now let's check the status of the transfer on the POA network. I'll click the bridge home address link on the POA bridge homepage to monitor the status of the transaction on the POA network. And I'll refresh this page to wait for the transaction to complete on the POA network. Once this transaction is completed, we can also verify that the POA20 balance has been transferred to the POA network by checking the POA balance on the bridge homepage here. And now this transfer is complete. 
And that's it. That's how easy it is to transfer POA20 tokens to the POA network with the POA network bridge without using MetaMask. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and check out the previous videos in the playlist. And until next time, thanks for watching DAP University.